review my salon glow from fingercoma.com. Um, I bought this with my own money. They are not paying me for my review or anything. I got the finger coma unit. What is it called? It's called something else. That's not right. Pregnancy brain, y'all. Yes, I am expecting baby number two. It's a boy. I'm excited to meet him. I am due March 4th. I'm exactly 24 weeks this week. I am tired and ready for the boy to get him. But I'm gonna get to that in another video. But so it came in this bag. Um oh that's nice. Okay, so this is obviously the one of the wigs that came in that nice little wrapper. I like that. It looks like we have some beauty products here we're gonna get in that. And here's kind of like a backstory behind their salon envelope. So that's really cool. I'll look at those a little later and let y'all know what they say probably in the description box. So we have a comb. This is a wig cap, so it's gonna come in handy because I, I need one. <laughs> oh, you know what? I think this is that specific shampoo that's theirs, I believe. I'm gonna look that up and let y'all know exactly what this is. So let's get this bad baby open. And this is my ombre unit. It has its own one for that. And it gives you pretty much how to put it on. So it says to leave hair out in the front. I'm not going to because um, as you guys can see, my hair is red. But I'm protective styling for all of the winter time. So that's why I got these wigs. So I'm not gonna do a leave out. I actually know how I can do it without a leave out. And I'm gonna show you guys that. It's pretty easy to do with one too. So I'll probably do a different video for that. Maybe when my hair gets a little longer and I color the red. It does have a comb here in the front like that i like the way it's wefted but what i really like is the fact that oh it has a comb in the back also so it has two combs make sure you guys can see two combs and it also has these clips that came in my first one so there you can ex tighten it loosen it however for your head so i'm gonna bring them a little bit to the middle because that's what i did for my first unit that i have from them and it worked out really well. So I'm just moving these. I'm gonna do it where you guys can see. So you just pull it out. As soon as my nails cooperate, then I'll pull it out. There we go, like that. And then I'm just gonna move it in a couple notches. And then just slide it through. Right here, I'm struggling. All right, boom, like that. So I just moved them a little closer. We hit cap on. And I'm just gonna leave a little bit of my hair out in the front, cover it around the back, like that. Easy. Then I'm gonna take this amazing, amazing wig. And nice and snug, that's the way I like it. Yeah, so since I'm not wearing a leave out, I'm gonna actually push it back a little bit. So it's like right around the edge of my hair. And I'm going to fluff. Yes, I'm to see yes. Fluff, fluff, fluff. And I'm gonna kind of wear some hair in the front. And because it's a little long, I am going to, oh my gosh, this hair is so soft, y'all. Oh my goodness. It feels amazing, yes. I love it. You can definitely, um, this definitely would look better with a leave out. Um, and you could just corkscrew curl your hair or spiral curl it, depending if you're natural, you probably want to do um, some perm rods. That would be really cute. Um, this hair is so soft. My gosh, I was I wasn't expecting it to be this soft. Like it feels really, 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 really good. <laughs> and I love the color. That is the really nice pop of color. So what I'm actually gonna do? I'm gonna play with this a little bit. Let's see if I can. The idea is to wear the bang here in the front so you can't tell that it's a wig. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I'm gonna cut this in the front, but I'm gonna get it where I like it first because it's gonna be like a permanent cut. 
and I know that I'm gonna wear it like this for the rest of the winter so I'm gonna make sure that the rest of this is exactly as I want it let me double check can't see any tracks or anything that's what I'm looking for so and I know I'm probably gonna want my bang about that thick not really wanting any more hair in the front so I'm kind of playing with this as I go and I'm gonna grab my scissors and I'm just gonna cut it a little bit, little by little, so that I can get the exact length that I want. Don't wanna go in and have y'all know that ugly Beyonce bang and then cookie headed that one episode. Yeah, we don't want that. So I'm gonna do it little by little. Oh my god, I love this. And I'll show you guys how I do that as well. We're going to cut the two by the two. And I'm gonna use the bag that my goodies came in and I'm gonna keep it right here in front of me so as I take it off I'm just gonna put it in this bag so it doesn't get everywhere so I'm gonna start I like this over here so I'm gonna kind of start here like in front of my eyes where I probably wouldn't want it to be real long and I'm gonna cut like at an angle so it looks a little bit more natural I'm not going in chopping So I just took that off and I just cut up at an angle so you kind of see that it just came up a little bit. And then I'm going to come over to the other side and kind of go right here by my glasses again and just grab what I want and I'm going to pull it down a little bit. And this time I'm going to go down at an angle because I'm right handed so I don't even want to try to go the same way that I just did. right so I'm gonna play with this and see see it's still a little long but I did that on purpose because I want to make sure that I don't cut off too much so I'm gonna take a little bit right here from this middle part that I didn't really touch yeah I'm gonna take a little bit from right here just a little bit and I'm just gonna go straight over this time yep just like that that is actually really what I want if you want a shorter bang definitely go for it but do it little by little or you can just you know if you're gonna have your leave out then you don't have to cut anything but because I know that this is how I want to wear it that's why I went ahead and cut it and then I would think if I decided to wear a leave out I could just yeah blends right back in see can't even really tell that I cut it Unless it's hanging down. But you really can't even tell. And that's why I left this side long. So if I decided that I wanted to kind of put it back, boom, you can't even tell, girl. Out here, yes. And when I'm ready again, bring it back down. So you can definitely get a couple looks out of this, out of this wig. I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. That's super cute, yes. I love it. And I'll give like my review on it after however long. Come back and give you guys some tips, whatever I have. If you guys think of any questions, anything you want to know about it, let me know. Oh, I love this. I love this. Yes. <laughs> I love this. This is pretty, right? What? Who says? Expecting mommies can be pretty too. <laughs> I am really excited about this. So if you guys have any questions for me, leave them in the comment box. And I will leave the link to this specific wig in the description box. Um, it was only $38, which is amazing. Um, it is a salon envelope and not an actual unit like they have. And I'll kind of talk about the difference with that when I review the other one that I already have. So that's all I got for y'all. Let me know if y'all have anything for me. Have an amazing day. Namaste. Namaste.